In this segment, we're going to talk about how and when to shake. I have in front of me a variety of shakers. We have the old school shaker, which you can find on eBay for a reasonable price and does a lot of cocktails at once. I have this great two-piece cocktail shaker and I have the more common Boston cocktail shaker, which is part mixing glass and part tin. So people always ask me, when do I shake a cocktail? Well, it's really quite simple. You shake a cocktail when there are opaque ingredients in it, such as juice. I have in front of me an aviation cocktail, which has lemon juice in it, so I'm going to shake. And here's how. You start off with your ingredients in the glass part of your container. You take your metal part of the container and seal it onto the glass part, making a banana shape. You'll notice a nice banana shape. I have sealed the quick snap of the wrist, the glass to the metal part of the shaker. I can now shake it hard, and that is key. You want to wake this drink up, and not rock it to sleep. You're going to shake it hard until it's completely integrated and some of the ice is broken. When you're shaking, you always want to have the metal part facing the guests or facing people and not the glass part. The reason for this is the metal part has the opening. So if any little bits of juice or, or spirit fly out, they'll hit you and not your guest. Good and shaken. Now the part people have difficulty with is taking it apart. They know they have to bang it, but they don't know where or how hard. Truth is, you don't have to bang it very hard. It's where you bang it. Again with the banana shape. You'll see there's a point where the glass and the metal start to separate. As opposed to this end where it's completely separated, you have on the curve end of the banana, complete touching and then the beginning of separation. At that point right there, give it a little tap with the heel of your hand and it'll become apart. Simple as that.